The earliest origins of human history are shrouded in mystery, largely due to their great distance from us in time and the lack of written records from that era. But even back then, the basics of human society and our eventual advancing technology had already begun. Even before humanity would spread across the earth by approximately 15,000 BCE, the basics of human gender roles between men and women had already begun. And these gender roles, in some extent, either exaggerated or reduced, exist even to this day in all human civilizations. These have a root in our genetic makeup, but I'll talk more about that in another video. Covering other things, by 25,000 BC, we already have evidence for woven cloth and baskets. By 15,000 BC, we already have evidence for bows and atlatus and for humanity covering the earth. And by 9,000, we already have evidence for domestication of sheep and goats and of farming. Now, before this point of 9,000 BC, it's often referred to as the Paleolithic or Old Stone Age. During this time, humans would have lived mostly in societies that we now refer to as forager, but were referred to previously as hunter-gatherer societies. These societies would have traveled around nomadically, moving around by the seasons to where they could find the best hunting grounds and best gathering grounds to forage at. It is now believed that the majority of their food supply would have come into foraging, and that even though they would have had to work constantly to get their food, they probably didn't spend that much time gathering their food and had lots of extra time. Now, beyond this time of 9000 BC, once farming begins and people begin more settling down, we come to the Neolithic or New Stone Age. From then, we have the domestication of livestock and the beginning of farming and eventual smelting of metals. Now, before this time, dogs had already been domesticated for quite some time, but by this time, finally, sheep and goats and cattle start being domesticated, as I mentioned previously around 9000 BC. We also find, sign around 10,000 BCE, and going onward, the domestication of crops like grapes and olives, and also of grains like wheat and barley, and those other grains began to be domesticated around rivers in Mesopotamia and in China. Now these early civilizations sprouted up in small settlements would have begun around the rivers like the Tigris and Euphrates and the Jordan River in Palestine, the Nile in Egypt and the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers in China. Now going beyond there, around 7000 BC we have evidence for domestication of cattle and of plows. Within this domestication of cattle and plows is no more of where we get the changing of gender roles and how they are still viewed to this day. And I'll talk more about that in the video. Around 5500 BC, we begin to see metal smelting, starting with copper, and later on we'll get bronze, but that would take some time. Also around 5000, the invention of the pottery wheel is developed, leading to quicker made pottery and more intricate pottery allowing greater storage of grain and of other supplies. This leads to larger and larger cities, as we see the development of city-states in Mesopotamia between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, close down to the Persian Gulf around the 4th millennium BC, so around 3000 BCE. And also around that same time, around 3200 BC, we see the earliest known evidence for writing in cuneiform and proto-cuneiform in Mesopotamia. From this area also we have the development of wheel transportation and the beginning of bronze technology or the combination of copper and tin to make a harder metal alloy and better tools. From that point we're moving into Bronze Age civilizations. And now as we spoke about the development of writing, that would develop around record keeping to understand who's grain was whose, and whose cattle was whose, as they began to store their grain and cow together for greater security. 
and these were controlled in Mesopotamia by the temples, so the religious and civic centers of their civilization. But I'll talk more about that in a later video. Also, other developments that had yet come down to these advanced cities were the domestication of horses approximately around 4000 BCE up in the Russian steppe, which would be vital for what I'll talk about later. But from this time, we see the origins of human civilization, an already society looking rather similar to what we see now. Like and subscribe.